G'day folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve this Wit Eden 2x3x4 camouflage cube. As to why it's a 2x3x4, we've got the 2x3 there and the 4 down here. Now I've got very excited and started scrambling it a little bit already, so I'm going to continue doing that and then cut back in when we've got a scrambled puzzle to solve. Alright, well, the first thing that I'm going to do is attempt to make 4 pieces which are corners plus edge. In other words, a piece like, and I'm looking for an edge in this little position on the bottom here, and I want to turn a corner onto that edge. Now that is a completed piece that I'm looking for at the moment. And we can tell that that's completed because when we turn the axes, there are no other pieces with those two. Each of those turns just leave that sitting in place. So that's one of them done. Now what I want to do is basically say, all right, well if I'm going to do the white orange blue I'm also going to do the white orange green in the same way so I'm going to find a white orange green and attach it to just like this was attached to a blue orange I'm going to attach it to an orange green so we'll find the orange green there it is and we'll, we'll leave the ones that we do on the bottom face for now so we'll put the orange green up onto the top face and there it is in readiness and I want to attach the white orange green to that I'd like to. I can't turn it. It's not independent of this layer. And so when that happens, I go and see where the blockage is. Here it is. And I rotate the piece as I desire. Now, I want to rotate this piece anti-clockwise so that this part lands on the bottom. And so if I want to rotate it that direction, I turn the front face first. I turn this face up, up, down, down. Do that twice. And that sequence will rotate this corner in place it'll do stuff on the bottom as well but we're not concerned with that so you can see now that's freed up that top layer and I can go and turn uh, where was it thought I had an orange blue up here ah yes now just lost myself what do I do white orange blue I said we were doing white orange green that was right that feels so much better now that I know what I'm doing okay so we've just turned that on and made a second piece, the white, orange, green. What I'm going to do now is go and store that um, on the same face as the white, orange, blue. And you can see there they are on the bottom there. Next one I'll go down and make the other two here. So for example we'd have a yellow, orange, blue. Let's try and find a yellow, orange, blue. Well there's the corner. So we now need to find the uh, orange, blue corner if we can. And this is it. It looks like a blue orange, but that's because it is on the wrong face. So let's turn it onto the correct face, first of all. And we've got to get this rotated, so we want that on the bottom. So we want the piece to come around like that, so we turn the right face first. And we now want to rotate that piece onto there. Can't do it because we've got a blockage over here, so we'll take care of that blockage as well. Let's just see, we've got those two on the bottom. We've actually got the fourth piece that I was going to make, the yellow, orange, green, sitting here. Before I turn that, I might actually just put it down the bottom and replace it with something else. That's stored safely. Now I can go back, grab my orange, blue, turn it onto that piece, and that's, that is actually the fourth piece that has been dealt with. So I'm just going to put all of them on the bottom. Now if you look at that, on the bottom I've got four pieces which are corner plus edge. That's the first layer solved. And from here what I want to do is then go and grab basically the same sort of thing but with an extra layer. In other words, let's have a think. We've got a white, orange, blue with an edge. Now on this face what's going to happen is that we're going to have an extra centerpiece. If we think about the nature of this puzzle, it's a 2 by 3 by 4 Imagine this is 1, 2, 3, 4 going down by here. 1, 2. It's got to be 3 going across here. And the way we're going to make that 3 is instead of just having a white, blue, orange piece and a corresponding piece across here, we'll have um, the same sort of piece, but it will have an extra center and an edge in place, and that'll make it the by 3. So, for example, uh, if this is a white, blue, orange, what we'd then look to make is, 
you can see we've got all the, uh, what have we got on the bottom here, all the orange pieces. So we would then look to make the corresponding red pieces. But this time there's going to be a blue, blue-white part that needs to be set up before we can do that. So we've got to uh, attach this blue-white to a blue centre. Well, there's the blue centre over there. And, in fact, there's another one here. So, in fact, let's... There we are. Now I've got this face at the top, we can work with that. And we wanted to attach a blue-white to that blue centre. So here's the blue-white. Now, if I can just turn it around, it'll attach, but I can't because of this blockage here. So initially, I've actually got to get this turning. So I've got to rotate that. Now, note that that keeps everything we've already done in that lower face done. Now, the layer is turnable, but the blue-white is on the bottom here. So what I need to do is attach it with a top piece like that so that it can now turn back and this will go on the bottom and the layer will be turnable. Okay, now we can grab it and turn it around and attach it to that blue centre. Remember we talked about having that extra layer of the little centrepiece and that edge. Now that we've got that, we want to have that whole layer on the bottom. So how do we get it there? Rotate that piece around in that direction. And you can see there it is. What are we trying to put on top of that? Well, you remember we started talking about the white, blue, orange, so we're now talking about the white, blue, red. So in other words, we're going to have a white, blue, red corner here with a red, blue. White, blue, red on a red, blue. So we've got to find that red, blue. Oh, there it is, and we'll just see if that corner is going to attach. It is, but it's going to need to be turned first. It's going to need to be rotated. So let's rotate that somewhere where it's going to be helpful. Um, that is perfectly fine because that's the bit that we're interested in. Uh, so we're going to rotate it around anti-clockwise here. And now you'll see that it's ready to turn back onto this layer. Uh, more importantly, we haven't touched that blue, blue, white piece that we had sitting there. So I can attach the corner to the edge. You probably guess what to do now. Rotate this piece around. So this, this solve is basically a bunch of rotations. Okay, so we've got that attached. We can now spin that around and put it onto its correct third layer. And you can see that, 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 and that now make up a complete block. So we've done that. Now we can't store it on the bottom layer, so we're just going to leave it there for now. And we're going to think, what would the next thing be? Well, if we've got a white, blue, red, we're also going to need a the corresponding piece that would go here. A yellow, red, blue. So in other words, we've got a blue with a blue, red. So let's go and find that. Well, there's only three pieces where this can exist, these three pieces now. So there's the blue, and there's the blue, red. Well, you know that we're going to have to attach that blue, red to that blue. So we'll turn it. The problem is when we turn it, we're going to put this on the bottom, and it's not this piece is not then going to be turnable. So I would first try doing something like that, just to enable this to turn. So we'll put that up. Okay, now you'll notice that we've dragged out when we did that the piece that we'd already made, this piece over here, but when we turn it back, it comes back together. And what's even better is you can see the blue and the blue red are now done, so we can put that on the bottom layer, of the bottom face, the bottom layer, like that. So there's the blue and the blue red. We were aiming for the yellow red blue corner, and you can see the yellow red blue corner is sitting here. And where's it got to go? It's got to go around to this position. Uh, so, if I move it like that, what you can see is that it actually brings together this piece, which looks like it probably should go together as well. I want those two to be together, so I'm going to rotate this piece to keep them together on the top. Like 
like that and now I can turn them back. I can keep that thing intact. I've got that there. Now what have we got? We've actually now got things in readiness to start finally placing this top layer onto that middle layer. Now even though I made one, I might sacrifice it, because all I need now is to find two of these top layer pieces that match with the middle layer. So let's just do a turn and see what happens. Well there's one, there's two. Brilliant, that's all I need. And once you've got that you're going to have another two which are either solved or they'll be like this. They'll be uh, where one needs to swap with the other. And you can see that that needs to go there and then this one needs to come over here. So that's the key position you're aiming for in this part of the solve. If you ended up having the two completed bits opposite each other, diagonally opposite, then it doesn't matter. The other two bits would also be here and you can shift them across using a similar move to what we're about to do. So when you get this situation, you want to swap these two pieces but keep these two intact. There's a move I've come up with and it's pretty simple and here's how it works. You do a U2 and then turn the whole cube one turn. Now, we want to swap these two parts on these two blocks. Or in fact, we want to swap the whole two blocks. So the way we do that is move this down to the bottom there. Do the same thing on this side, which places this piece up there. And then finish it by bringing this piece up here. Now what that's done is swap that and that entire block. The last step is a U prime. Do a U prime, and what you'll see is that all of those pieces there have now been correctly attached. And so that will complete that second main stage of the solve, completing, I guess you'd call it the red layer. That's the common color there. And so from here, what we now have, you can, you can move it around at will as long as you keep those bits together. You can see we've effectively got a two by two puzzle. And it is sort of the center of the whole thing. And so we now solve it as a two by two. And you can see the last thing is to undo that little setup move and it's all done. As I said, that last stage, just solving a two by two, use whatever method you like. That's the method that I use. And you can see that the camouflage, the 2x3x4, is solved.